game. What happened? Shit. Oh. I will sleep like this. Matilda, I need to leave. Donald, how long are we going to keep doing this? Doing what? This cat and mouse game. We're not teenagers, you know. <sighs> Stop, I'm not in the mood for I this. I don't care what mood you're in, okay? We're going to talk about this and we're going to talk about it now. I don't even know how long I can condone this. What are you saying? I need to stutter. Are you threatening me now? Take it as you want to. <laughs> Jesus. It's busy saving souls. Do not drag him into this. Sweetheart. Mm. I've said this thing to you countless times. These things take time. Okay, give me time. Fine, take all the time you want to, Donald. Take it. But just don't think I'll still be here by the time you're ready to take me serious and make this official. <sighs> Matilda. Matilda. Stop. You know you love it when I kiss you like this. Huh? Oh, do you really want me to stop? Hmm? <laughs> do you want me to stop? No, I'm not serious. I'm serious too. Hmm? Should I stop? calling you last night but your phone was switched off i was really starting to worry i'm here now am i not well yes but i wish i'd known where you were last night um you know the security issues in lagos are nothing to write home about Lara, i went to work i'm not dead anyway um, I'm glad you're home safe and sound. All that work must have left you tired and hungry. Not really. I made breakfast for you. Oats with milk and banana chunks in it. Just the way you like it. Thank you, but I'm not... I'll go get it for you now. And then I'll heat up some water so you can shower. Nara. Let me see with this woman. Oh, the 
overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I fall, leaves the 99. I can't deserve it. Oh. Hey, babes. As if you kidnapped. Oh. You really need to stop this. Yeah, right. Fine, I will stop when he stops disrespecting you. Mm, honestly, would you? Two wrongs don't make it right. Two wrongs are always right when it comes to giving an asshole a taste of his own medicine. Ju, but the Bible says that you shouldn't judge. Please, I beg, I beg, I beg, just hold it. Not today. Don't start with the Bible stuff. Okay? Ah, aren't you a Christian again? Yes, I am. But, you know, I, I have my days and moments and today happens to be not one of them. Anyway, I called to let you know how far to know what's up with the plan. Your birthday? Huh? You are joking, right? I am. What's today's date? Oh, no. Ah. You forgot. Hmm? Mm, sorry. Okay, that's fine. So, where can I come and meet you? Or should I come pick you up? Oh, nee. I'm so sorry, I won't be able to make it. I have that props that you won women's conference. Remember, I told you about it. Mm, yes, you did, but it's in the afternoon, yeah? This is a girl's night out, so come on. I know, but... <laughs> Donald and I haven't spent some quality time together and I was thinking of, you know, putting together something nice for him. So what is supposed to happen to the table I booked? Ah, nee, I'm talking about my marriage and spending quality time. You're talking about table in the club. You know what, you know, it's fine, it's fine, that's fine, that's okay. Just don't worry about it, just do you enjoy your Bible conference, whatever, your quality time with your quality husband and um, I think bye. Food is ready. I'll be out in like ten minutes, okay? Okay. We want the app out there wherever our potential customers are. So Donna, how long do you think it will take your team to come up with the marketing plan? Sorry, what did you say? I was asking a question. How long do you think it will take your team to come up with a marketing plan? And that's why you keep getting all the promotions, you know. Okay, so just forward it to me. Let I'll go through it together with my team, then we'll get back to you. That's fine, I'll do that after the meeting. Alright. So you have a nice day. Okay. Jeez, my guy. The man of the hour. Why are you going to join them to be saying, ah, we did the project together now, you know now. Hey, you, you be star boy now. You know, say, whiskey supposed to pay you before you use that name. Wash, wash, you don't they wash again. Eh? Okay, 
See this girl. See this girl. The body on this girl can make a Catholic priest deviate from his vocation. Why? I'm telling you, woman will kill you. <laughs> well, you know, get control, you know. <laughs> Says the man that is running two women at the same time. Mine is different. You're right. I'm a bachelor. You just got recently divorced. What are you talking about? Still single. I have no more obligation to one woman. In fact, I am free as the heir to choose any kind of woman I want at any given time. <sighs> but you. Mine eh? is different. I told you. My you. guy, my guy. You have a beautiful wife at home who, like the Nigerian pledge, has promised to be faithful, loyal, and honest, and fast, strictly sticking to it. But you, on the other hand, I beg, I beg, I beg, stop. See, my guy, my guy, I want to tell you something. See, you have the kind of wife men out there pray and fast for. A very good woman at that. But you are hung up with this girl that sends you new pictures every now and then. How about you don't know my life? So don't try to judge me. <sighs> don't out. One thing I know you're doing is eating your cake and having it. And at the rate at which you're going, you will soon run out of flour. Yeah, babe. Uh huh. Okay, so wear that sexy dress that I love so much. Yeah, that one. Uh huh. I'm, I'm almost at yours. I'll see you in a bit. Okay? Yeah, bye. doesn't like to pick up our calls. Try again. I can't make it. Do I like the only thing hotter than this is you without the clothes on? Okay, so are we just gonna go straight to the main meal without the appetizer? Well, it's better to wait for the main meal. So, where are we going? To? Okay, I mean, yeah, let's just go, okay, because what? Let's go. Very first day that I saw you through, but I look into your eyes before you made. 
up my game. Oh, I don't feel like saying you know now. Something where they make me hide. Wings oh, like Ju. a butterfly. Fly like hey. an eagle so high. Sorry, did you say something? Proverbs 32 wife. Alpha. Oh, hey, Uju. How is your quality time going? <sighs> it hasn't happened yet. Donald isn't back from work. <laughs> it may not be happening for you, but Donald is definitely enjoying some quality time. What do you mean? I just sent you something on your WhatsApp. You might want to take a look. Uju, what are you... This girl has got the call.
To worry. Please be careful. Where am I? Him, you're in the hospital. You were in an accident. Oh, shit. What, what happened? Are you okay? Is your head? What's going on? Sorry. Doctor, hi. Good afternoon. Ah, Mrs. J. Mm. How are you feeling today? Like a ton of breeze is falling on my head or something. Uh, must be the concussion you suffered because of the impact. And good news is we tried to run some tests to be sure of your condition. And aside the minor injuries and the concussion, you're in the clear. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Doctor, does that mean he can go home? Of course he can. You know, we'll just prescribe some medications to help him with the pain and to help you sleep as well. He's free to go. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Free to thank go you. By the end of today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Jesus. Just go and rest Just try and relax. Easy. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Gently, gently. Ouch. Sorry, let me just oh. raise up the pillow. Sorry. 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 Yeah. Are you comfortable? Mm, 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 yeah. Okay, just rest, okay? Please. Sorry. My phone. My phone. Oh, I'm, My with, phone. I'm with it. Hey, give me now. But don't you think you should rest first? Give me. I uh, beg. I need, to, I need to make calls. Give me, give me, give me. What's wrong? Nothing. You look like something is annoying. Again, I said nothing. to talk about the accident. What is this now? This woman. Why do you always have to be a pest? Sorry. I said nothing's wrong with me. I'm sorry, ah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no, please, please, you can't go out. The doctor said you can't go out. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Matilda, if I didn't have physical proof that our mothers are actually sisters, wallahi, I would have questioned how we are related because I don't understand how you let this happen to you. Don't you please me. Don't please me. I'm your freaking cousin, Matilda. And I have a right to express how I feel about what's going on in your life. I mean, how could you? Put your whole life on hold for a man that doesn't even give a shit about you. Someone that abandoned you in the hospital after an accident and took off with his wife. Keyword being his wife. What kind of a man does that? You've been treating that guy with kid gloves. And girl, these men are not to be treated like that. I don't know if you are following. You see now, you don't carry a move button. They do anyhow because I don't understand how you keep letting this happen. Matilda, you left me at the hospital. Donald abandoned me at the hospital and followed his wife. Oh, yes. His wife. I'm so glad you're saying it out loud. His wife. Look, forget all that guy has been feeding you all these years. You see these men? They're not they leave their wives or sis. Wake up. One would have thought that after giving him two kids, he would have left his childless wife for you. But he hasn't. And it's been seven years. He has not left her. When are you going to wake up from this slumber anyway? When? Okay, sweetheart. I am sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But you see that guy? You're just a mere convenience for him. That's all. And the earlier you realize that, the better for all of us. Pack the kids things. Huh? It's okay, this daughter. I pack the kids things. Why are you not saying anything? You're not making any sense. Matilda, why do you have to move? Because I don't want to ever see him again. What? what? So where, do you, where are you going to now? I don't care. I don't know. I'll look for a hotel and then find some place to stay afterwards. Just excuse me. By this time, what Matilda, hold on What's now. What's going on here? Daddy! Hey guys, how you doing? How are you doing, my boy? What's happening? Get Where a, are you going? Get away from me. Get away from me! It's okay, what is this? This is none of my business. Please leave me out of it. Come guys, come, 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 come. Matilda. Do not touch me. Look, let's talk, okay? Talk about what? We clearly do have a lot to talk about, but I'm not going to do it here in front of the kids and the stranger. Can we talk mm. inside, please? Please. Sophie, I'll be right back. Yeah. You have five minutes. How would you assume I abandoned you just like that? How dare you accuse me of assuming something that we both know is true? I woke up and the nurse told me you had gone. You abandoned me and followed your wife. I was Drowsy from the damn sedatives that they gave me. I could barely stay awake if my life depended on it. I tried to call you, right? But then every time I tried to hit the dial button, I just fall asleep. That's what happened. Please. Babe, we've been together for Let five years. Five years have I ever abandoned you before. Well, there's always a first time for everything. Maybe this is it. And you wouldn't even just call me? You won't return my calls? What kind of behavior is that? Donald, I woke up from a nasty accident only to find out that my Donald has left me, abandoned me and gone home with his, with his wife. How was I supposed to react? If the roles were reversed, if you were in my shoes, how would you have reacted? I would have called to confirm. Not run away with the kids. Oh, please, which is what I you're guess we to all now. react differently, don't we? We're different people. Maybe I would not have reacted this badly if you had already done the midfall. Matilda. Oh, please, Donald. You will not wiggle your way out of this this time. No. Five years. Five years of my life. Two children. Yet you have refused to give this relationship or the children any form of legitimacy. I've told you, these things are not that straightforward. Oh, please. 
excuses after excuses. How much time do you need? Just give me a bit of time, okay? No more time, okay? Five years is enough. No more time. I cannot keep sitting down and pretend to be happy, playing second fiddle to a woman who... who Matilda, don't. Do not try to stop me from saying it as it is. Three days, Donald. Three days to do the needful. And by the needful, you mean... I mean divorce her. You never see your children again. Ijoma, see this man out. Because of Jesus, I've got joy overflowing. Unlimited favor, it's like a river in my soul. <laughs> hey, honey, how was your day? Ah, good. I had the most amazing time at conference, especially the praise and worship session. It was so spirit filled. Oh, my God. Anyway, I made some seafood okra for dinner before I left. It should still be quite warm. I can warm it for you if you want. I want a divorce. Hmm. I mean, I'll make some pounder to go with it. What? The seafood okra. It goes best with pounder. Did you not know hear what I just said? I said I want a divorce. You're talking about seafood okra. Very okay. Can you not see that we've been living a lie? Understand. Where is this coming from? Look, don't make this harder than it already is. You and I, we live in a charade. That is you now. And I've just been playing along with you. But I'm done. You've got to be kidding me, Donald. This is some kind of weird joke to you. Look, uh, I don't have any peaceful words to sugarcoat this way, so I'm going to put any on this way. Fed up. I'm not believing this lie anymore. There's no love lost between us. Whatever we had died years ago. We're just going through the motions. I'm sorry. We've got into the final rest of life together. I'm sure you understand what you're saying. Can we sleep this over and talk about it tomorrow? Stop being obtuse for once in your life, Nara. I say you never saw this coming. Seven years, Donald. Seven years of faithfulness, love, and sacrifice. And you want to throw it down the drain just like that? It was seven years of my life, too. Seven years of me trying. Of me trying, keeping up with things I shouldn't have kept up with. You're talking about sacrifice. What are you talking about? Salvage this marriage as flatline years ago. It's best to put it in the Drink it. Thanks. It 
It's been taken by surprise. But I actually saw this coming. Would you please? That's not what I need to hear right now. Please. You see? That's the problem with you. Instead of you to deal with the issues heads on, you would rather bury your head in the sand like a bloody ostrich and hoping for it to just pass away. Having faith in your marriage working out isn't burying your head in the sand, would you? No. Just having faith. And then, just living in denial. Clearly, you've been experiencing the latter. You can talk because you've never been married before. Try jumping the broom and seeing that the other side isn't as straightforward as you think. Yeah. You're right. I am talking because I, I don't have the experience of marriage. But one thing I know is that I will never put up with such asshole treatment Donald has been dishing out to you for years now. So now that he has made his stance clear, you have to cut your losses and move on. No. I'm not giving up that easily. You're joking. If I were to give up on my marriage that easily, what does that make me? A woman whom common sense has prevailed upon. No, would you? It makes me a failure and a quitter. Two adjectives that can never be used to describe me. Oh, my goodness. What am I hearing? Like, seriously? Jesus will want me to fight the good fight for my marriage. The fight to restore my marriage to what it once was years ago. Jesus will want me to find a good friend of mine. Like, seriously? Oh, you want to live the life of a war room wife? Is that how you want to live your life? Would you? If that is what I need to do to restore my marriage, then so be it. And where are you going to? Church. Would you? I have battles to fight. And I'm going to be fighting those battles on my knees. Oh, God. Please deliver my friend from this bondage. Mr. Dono, everything is pretty clear here. The terms are laid out the way they should. So these are the terms to agree to, right? That's right. Okay, I'll read it. So how long? Uh, give or take you four days, it will be ready. Good. I need this thing done ASAP. The sooner this process is, the better for me. Trust me, once I get to the office tomorrow morning, I'll get on it. Good. Thanks, man. So I'll take my leave. Yeah. Good evening, madam. Good evening. So you're still hell bent on going forward with this? Yes. Dear, I think we. We are done. We are through with all this. You better get used to this. Okay? I'm only just saying that we should try and talk things over, please. Talking things over stage is long gone. That ship sailed. And it's not returning. So what happened to the vows that we took? <laughs> they are vows. Not blood covenant. I'm not going to shackle myself in unhappiness because I'm trying to keep a promise. Look, please. I'm done with this conversation. Dee, why are you being so mean to me? So it's done. Papers will be ready in a few days. I hope you're happy now. Well, I'll be happier when I can move into your house as your wife. Patience, baby. Patience, okay? Oh, my goodness. Patience, patience, patience. For how long? It's been years, honey. This whole thing is starting to sound like a stretch. Why are you worrying your pretty head? Everything is going to work out just fine. Mm. Are you sure she'd sign it? She will. Hmm. What's that noise? Uh, that's Nara. She's starting her prayers. 
I hope I get any sleep this night. Oh well, darling, you know you can drive to me. Come now. Hmm? You know your peace of mind is guaranteed with me. You know I want to. But I have an early morning tomorrow. So I can't. Hmm. Well then enjoy a nice video though. Hopefully that woman can pray some senses into her head. Mm. And get us cast a spell upon you. <laughs> oh, you because I'm hypnotized by your love. Anyway, good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Bye. Lord, I pray for the fruit of the womb, Lord Jesus. Lord, your word says that we should go out and be fruitful and multiply. I receive, I receive, oh Lord Jesus, the fruit of the womb. Lord, your word says that the land will not be barren. I rebuke and I reject every spirit of barrenness in my life, Lord Jesus. My womb is blessed. My womb shall produce fruit. I will have children. They will come to this house. They will surround this house with joy and happiness, Lord Jesus. My marriage will not be broken, Lord Jesus. It will not be broken in the mighty name of Jesus because you said Lord whatever God has put together let no man put asunder hey babe good morning morning <laughs> I made breakfast I can see I'm not blind I'm not hungry I made your favorite have you signed the papers um, I haven't okay get it on my last nerve can you just sign the bloody thing do you still believe there is hope for this marriage? For us? It can only be us if two people decide to make something work. Emphasis on two people. Right now you're the only one smoking whatever it is you're smoking. Okay? You're flogging a dead horse here. Maybe dead to you, but I still believe that something can work from this. The Bible says dead oh bones shall God. rise. You sound so pathetic. You know what? I thought I could save you the details, but you're so pig-headed, right? I'll tell you, I'm in love with another woman. I suspected, but... <laughs> I know it's the work of the devil. And you know what, D? It's a lie. It's a lie from the pit of hell! I cast and I bind and I rebuke every evil work of the devil in this house. I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah. You're such a clown. You are a circus clown. That's what you are. Read my lips, Narekene. I am in love with Matilda. And I'm going to do right by her. You're the only thing stopping me from doing that. You're a clog in the wheel of my progress. Donald. Kenetriku Isichie. What God has put together, let no man put asunder. The Bible says that. Spare me this rhetorics, okay? Look, I want you to sign those documents before I get back. In fact, I want you out of this house before I get back, okay? I bind and I cast every principality, every power, every demon coming against me. Madam. Yes. Oga. What did they do to my Ogaka? I know you be. Your Ogaka's wife. Come here, darling. Okay. So just uh, get the bags from the car. Ogaka wife came. How? I should they talk to my Ogaka wife. He did inside. So I uh, I be in Miss Road. I be tell you you be. Stop asking me silly questions and just go pick up the luggages and take them inside the house. Eh? Don't let me get you fired. Take out my luggages. <laughs> hey! Wahala! <laughs> okay, mother, wait, I beg. See, I don't know who you be, but eh, you need to come up for this place. 
before I close my in fact, before, before I can't turn, the reason I open this gate is because I'm facing my Ogaka. I make me open this gate for you. If not, I will not open it. They have a come on this compound. Just get up this one. Come on, they come on. My friend, move away from here. Are you mad? How dare you put your filthy hands on me? The next time you try this nonsense, trust me, you'll be fired. In fact, where is Donald? Let him come back so he can have you fired. Sorry, my love. Aren't you constituting a nuisance? Ah. What's going on here? Madame. Victor, what's happening here? Who, who are these and... Where is my husband's car here? Our husband's car. What? Listen, woman. I've heard about you and all the drama that you've been causing Donald. Well, listen. That's about to stop. Because I'm now here with the children. And you can pack your things and leave. Who is that? I don't know. So, so why did you open the gate? I'm saying that now, that's kind Hey. Turn out. How could you do this to me? How could you shatter my heart like this? How? Look, I already told you. I didn't ask her to come. But then there's nothing I can do about it now. She's here. She's the mother of my children. What do you want me to do? So you're, you're asking me to leave the room to accommodate her? D, what are you saying? Can you hear yourself? You're destroying the sanctity of marriage. Are you just going to desecrate our matrimonial bed yeah, like yeah, that? Please, spare me this sermon. Hmm? Dickiness or whatever it is they call you in church. You have a choice here. Walk out with your dignity now intact. Or you go to the guest room. This is yours. supposed to mean? It means what are you doing in my kitchen? <laughs> what did you say? I didn't start to do that. <sighs> Listen woman, you're fighting a lost battle, okay? Stop fighting! Since you've refused to pack and leave this house for me, you might as well just stay away from me, okay? Stay in your lane! You will never succeed. You will never succeed in making me lose my cool. Mm. I promise my God that I will not let you or anyone else cause me to sin against him. Oh, please. So I will leave you to your foolishness. Mm -hmm. I can only hope and pray that you repent from your evil ways. Mm. I beg shift. Stupid people. I'm going to let it go this time, but if you ever lay your hands on me again, what will happen? What will you do? Yeah, yeah, woman. Stupid. <laughs> What's happening? Why can't I enter? Madame said, make cannot open the gate. Give anybody except Oga. Eh? Are you okay? Which madam? My friend, you open the madame gate. Please, please. Victor. Madam, see, I don't want trouble. I beg. But the thing is, I'm not going to open this gate to give you. That's not the instruction way they give me. I beg. Even myself, I don't know what is happening again at all for this house. Eh? But madam, I go advise you. You see that your church where you they go, eh, you're gonna need to increase them. And also increase the prayer. Because within my eye, they see for this house. 
my mouth not fit to come. It be like say power. It all change hand for this house. And now only your prayer, I go fit change and back. Madam, I be no vase. I beg, I beg. Victor. I beg, madam, I beg. Jesus. You've got to be kidding me. What do you want? What's happening at home? What's the problem? Why did you ask Victor not to let me in? Why am I being locked out of my own house? I don't get it. I am at work. I don't know what's going on at home. So what's the problem? Donald, Victor says you gave your mistress instructions not to let me in. Look, I don't know why she did that. And I really can't be bothered. But hey. If you want me to sort it out, you have to wait till I get back home. Donald, how can you stand back and watch her treat me like this? I'm your wife for goodness sake! You're really beginning to sound like a crack CD. I will sort it out when I get home, that's what I said. So Donald, you want me to wait outside the gate until you come back? Look, you got yourself into this mess. Please, leave me out of it, I'm busy, okay? How are you doing? Why did you ask Peter not to let Nara enter into the house? Thank you. Honey, somebody has to be proactive about these things. Eh? You can't keep treating this woman with kids' clothes. We need to take a stand. And if you want, I certainly will. Look now. That environment is becoming very toxic. It's not good for my kids. I've asked you to let me handle things, okay? Take the back seat, let me handle things. I allowed you to deal with this for five years and what came out of it. What? Let me deal with this this time, please. <sighs> Look, I have told you, you do not kill a fly with a sledgehammer. I will kill this fly with whatever hammer I want to. Hmm? Besides, <sighs> the fly who refuses to listen follows the cops to its grave. Okay, no problem. I'll talk to you later. Hmm? I'll talk to you soon. My goodness, Matilda. What? I can't believe you are doing this to a woman like you. I don't understand. You asked me to take a stand and I did. Why are you complaining? I am complaining about how you and Donald are treating the wife. Which is very unfair, Matilda. No, please. I wouldn't even expect you to understand considering what your mother experienced and all. Eh. Madam, don't you ever bring my mother into anything like this, okay? Don't do that. Of course I'll bring her into it. I'll bring her into it, Matilda. Because you know exactly what she went through and you're doing the same damn thing to this woman. I don't understand. What has this got to do with my mom? Eh? The fact that she's not sharp isn't my fault. Whose fault is it? Is it mine? I have a man who cares about me. Who wants me? But then there's this woman who has refused to leave us alone to our happiness. And now you're taking her side. Madam, I'm not taking anybody's side. I am on the side of the truth. And the truth is, what you and Donald are doing to that woman is not fair. Come on now. Madam, keep quiet, I beg. Keep your preaching to yourself. Go and preach to my house. You asked me to take a stand, right? You were all up in my ear about it. And now I have and you're saying what? No, you're saying what now? I beg go. I go pick up my children. This is not the stand I say you should take, oh. You are too stubborn. I don't like it. What you're doing is not fair, Matilda. Bye bye. Hey. When did she become the first stepmother again? Speak into my heart, speak into my mind. Tell me a story I want to know. Let me feel the wind, the words that you speak. Write a story I need to know.
I'm not going to judge you or go all moral on you. No. I know you're hurting really bad. And the last thing you need from me is to, is to scold you again. Return with you. With you this, this, this is what I'm left with. Please stop it. You've cried enough. It's okay, okay? I gave my best years to that man. To that marriage. Would you everything I was supposed to do as a faithful and loyal wife? I did it. I guess it wasn't enough. Would you look at me? Would you my heart is shattered in a million pieces? Would you look at me? I become a shadow of myself. Just, 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 just look at me. Would you look at me? Would you what did I do wrong? Don't you? nothing wrong. You know what? You, you know what? I, I refuse to have a pity party with you. Yes! I understand how you feel. This too shall pass. Okay? Yes, you've been praying, Trust me, this. Okay, you know what? Cry if you have to. Just cry. Let off this thing. Let it off. Feel free to cry. Scream if you have to. Yes! But trust me, you won't you? ever have to cry again. Cry! Cry, cry, shout, scream, do whatever it is you want to. Trust me, after this, you will never have to cry again. Yes, baby, just keep crying. Let it out. Let it out. Oh, I went to the courier's office to send back the signed papers to Donald. Let the divorce proceedings begin. Mm. I'm sorry. I don't even know what to say. Don't worry. You don't have to feel awkward about all of this. That chapter of my life has closed now. And I'm ready to move on. I can only pray for God to give me the grace. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's well. Okay. It's as well. It's as well. Just take it as well. It's okay. Yeah. It's fine. I don't know what to say. It's not even touching. It's not so beautiful. Hey, don't eat that. Drop it down. Take another one. Oh my gosh. Take another one. Good boy. It's okay. This girl never stopped. Why is she calling you? What is she doing? I don't know. Let me just take the call. Mm. 
Why do you think? Oh. Okay. No problem. You you can come. Yeah, you can come. Wow. What does she want? Come over where? Why? Why is she coming to this house? She says she wants to come get her things. Hey, don't listen to her. She's just looking for an excuse to come to this house and apply pressure on you again. Things sound that way this time around. Like she sounded like what? Different. She sounded like she wasn't interested in anything I had to say. Like she didn't care about my opinion. Well, that's good, I beg. At least now we know we're done with that. Yeah, I guess so. I got the rest of your bag so you don't have to go back and forth again. Thank you. Um, I've signed and sent back the papers to the lawyers. He didn't mention anything to me. I just sent it yesterday, so he should get back to you any moment from now. So, does that mean... See you at the lawyers. The guy next door and unfortunately he's not around so <laughs> sorry for bothering you no. but uh my car has a little problem oh yeah i think the radiator has run out of water so i don't Ooh. know can you help me uh, yeah sure i can really? i'll be right back yeah great no because problem. i checked i tried to buy water and there was nowhere i could find it's fine don't worry i'll bring water for you you're the best <laughs> thank you you're welcome okay i'll be right back <laughs> Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Contrary to popular opinion, a lot of women know more about cars than just driving them. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, that should be fine. Color me impressed. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Wow! Good? <laughs> what? You are a lifesaver. Like, I want to hug you right now. This is, this is so cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, don't forget to check to see if your radiator is leaking. These sure. things do happen sometimes. Okay? Sure. Okay. I got this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, you're the ball. <laughs> you're welcome. Know that. Thank you. Bye. Alpha, you're calling me. Oh, it was nothing. Just someone at the door who had issues with his car. Oh. How was he? Was he cute? Was he hot? Ha! Huh. Is that really what you're concerned about? What if he was a robber mm. or a kidnapper? Huh. You're yes. two years in one piece. So obviously he wasn't. So? 
You still are on Tansa, my best friend. Was he hot? Are you okay? Oh, talk now. Your wahala is too much. Mm -hmm. I swear. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. if you must know, he was not bad. Oh, shit. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because he didn't get my name. I didn't get his. And we're obviously never going to see each other again. My dear, don't worry about that. You know what they always say. Never say never. Uh, uh -huh. Indeed. <laughs> No, no, let me go finish Please, testing. Please, let me continue focusing on what I'm doing. Okay. Hey. The Lord will protect me from danger. He will keep me safe. He will protect me as I come and go now and forevermore. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come into your presence today. Everlasting King of Glory, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the I am that I am. I ask, O oh Lord, that you take charge and control over my life today. Father, your word says in Deuteronomy that you will never leave me nor forsake me. Father, I commit my marriage into your hands. Father, your word says what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. I commit Donald into your hands, O oh Lord Jesus. I pray that whatever work or power of the devil that has taken over my husband, Lord, I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I ask that you restore my marriage to what it once was before. Father God, I call upon your name today and I ask that you take control. God, Daddy, please take control. Take control, Jesus. Daddy, I come to you today. Take control. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Yeah. Radiator issues again? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I, uh, and this might sound strange, but I was just trying to say thank you for the other day, but I was, I couldn't find the right sentence to use yet. <laughs> so, what sentence did you come up with? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> really? That's it? Yes, that's, that's it. But honestly... Thank you. Uh, you actually saved my life the other day. Oh, come on. That's an exaggeration. Really? No, I, I really think you saved my life. Okay. What if you didn't help me, right? What if I couldn't get water from you to put in my car and mm. I had to go next door to someone else's house and I ran into some weirdos or a serial killer? Hmm? Mm. Yeah. Really? Y yes, really. <laughs> Seriously, this is Lagos. Well, I'm glad I was able to help you out with your radiator so you wouldn't have to put up with weirdos and serial killers. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. And uh, I, I, I really do think that one good turn deserves another. And so I was thinking maybe I could take you out for dinner just to say thank you. Just because I gave you water for your radiator, it's not that serious. You're fine. Oh, it's serious. I really think it's a big deal. <laughs> So please, it's, it's, it's just dinner, okay? No strings attached. So please, indulge hmm. me. Hmm. This insistence on wanting to take me out, are you sure you don't have any ulterior motives? I cross my heart and shame the devil, okay? No ulterior motives. Okay, it's just dinner. Just a guy trying to say thank you to a girl. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. I'll do lunch. I'll let you know when I'm free. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Eric, by the way. Um, Nara. Nara? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful name. Thank you. Uh, there you go. Your number. Oh, okay. If you don't mind, because I, 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 I have to call you. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Nara, she's in fine girl, sure. And she's actually fine now on ground and the pictures are certain, you know, right? I told you. <laughs> yeah, but she's still weird, sure. Like, why not just introduce me to her? Why, why play all these games? Because I know her. I know Nara too well. I go straight to her and tell her that I want to hook her up with a friend. Mm. She'll tone down the idea. Yeah. Yeah. I can't blame Marsha. Like, if it was me, I'd be upset that people are planning things up behind my back. I know. But trust me, she'll thank me later. She needs it. 
Hmm. Why are you saying that? Hmm? I hope she's not one of those desperate to get married type. Because I'm not ready for marriage. <laughs> Look at this one. It's true. What are you feeling like? I beg. Like an down. illegal bachelor. Calm <laughs> down. Nobody's asking you to marry anyone, okay? Uh huh. Um. Nara just got out of a terrible marriage. And I want her to go back out there. Otherwise, she will never move away from our past. You don't have to marry her or even have a relationship with her per se. I just want her to be happy, that's all. Would you this 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 one this one I've totally the full inside, so how? Yeah, because first of all, broken women are difficult to deal with. Okay, they come with a lot of baggage and I don't want Nara to be a fishbone in my throat. You get it. Like, I'm just doing it because of you. So I don't want trouble. I know. I know, Mr. Playboy. But all I want is just for you to get to know her. Charm her. Distract her from thinking about her. Rat of a husband. Yes. Just, just do your thing now. Mm, how know. hard can that be? This is a lot of work. And how much are you paying me? Huh? Yes. Pay you. Uh -huh. <laughs> With all the money you have. You. I still want more money. You. Mm -hmm. The playboy of the western world. <laughs> Let me come on now. This is your thing. Just act your charming self. Just before you know, you might end up falling for her. Uh, yes, eh? yes. Falling for who? Me. <laughs> nah, she's not even my spec. I'm just doing it because of you. This one, so you get spec. <laughs> <laughs> You came. I didn't. Well, if I didn't make it, you would have probably come to stop me again. So I figured, why not? <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to order something? Uh, sure. I'm sorry, I should have asked you before bringing you here, but between me and you, this place has the best Chinese food around. Really? Trust me. <laughs> It's fine, actually. I love Chinese food, oh. and I actually have to make some of the dishes. No way. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can't find anything on YouTube these days. Ah, that's, mm -hmm. that's smart. <laughs> but you know I have to prove that, right? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Is this your way of asking me to invite you to my house to cook you Chinese food? <laughs> me? No. Why, why would I do that? <laughs> yeah. But I still have to confirm. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how this lunch goes. And then after, I'll decide if I want to invite you over and cook food for you. You know what? You got yourself a deal. <laughs> deal. <laughs> deal. And I'll smile for the camera. <laughs> We're so funny. Uh, so can we order? Yeah. Waiter? <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? True story. <laughs> he actually stole my car <laughs> and then stopped a cab for me and paid for the cab. <laughs> I'm so sorry for laughing. That must have been a horrible experience no, for you. No, it's actually fine. I laugh at it myself <laughs> all the time. Hmm, what a thoughtful robber. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's why you're probably glad that I helped you out to your car the other day. Ooh. I can imagine that you were scared that another thoughtful robber would come and attack you. No, that wasn't going to happen. Except he wanted to steal my car and carry it on his head <laughs> and run away. Well, nonetheless, mm. I'm glad I was able to help. Yeah. Me too. Oh, wow. 
Look at the time. It's getting late. I have to head home now. Really? Mm -hmm. I had a good time. Me too. This was, this was good. Me too. You know, I think we should have a repeat performance. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, because it would be a great way to check if you can truly cook. Like, I have to confirm that Chinese food story. <laughs> really? Well, we'll see how it goes. Okay? okay. We'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I... <laughs> okay. Let's uh, get the bill. Okay. Uh, waiter? Hi, honey. What's up? I'm good. How yeah. are you? Not bad. Welcome. Oh, thanks. How's your day? Not bad. Great. I see you're having jello fries. How did you know I was craving that, huh? Um, I actually didn't know that. I, I didn't know. I, I, I just um ordered this for myself and I ordered pizza for the kids. I didn't know you'd want it. So, what do you think I was going to eat when I got back from work? Well, I thought you'd have sorted yourself out. Before coming, you, you can have this. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. It's fine. So, honey, can I talk to you about something? What's that? Um, it's um, it's about the divorce. How long do you think it's going to drag for? It shouldn't take long. If Naya cooperates, we should be done in no time and share assets and that's it, we're done. Okay, great. And then I can be, legally be Mrs. Isichi and just be more comfortable around here. How much more comfort do you want? I don't know, it's just anything to be done legally. You know, for document names to be changed, for your landed properties also to be worked on. Your wheel. My what? Are you okay? How did we even get to this topic? Like, we're just talking about food now. And... Don't get me wrong, honey. It's just. I just need things to be done properly. God knows I have waited for so long for you to do right by me. And now that you're finally doing that, I just want things to be documented properly. I need myself and my kids to be secured in every sense of the word. Bring this up for you. My friend, though. <laughs> Thank you for letting me invite a guest over. I hope it's not any inconvenience to you. Beggy, stop it. What's that? See the way you're doing as if I'm your madam and you're my house girl. <laughs> Beg, see, babe, just feel at home, okay? And you can bring as many men as you want. Ah! Yes. <laughs> you know that's not possible. This one that's happening now is even a miracle. I know. I'm just saying that you should feel free. Okay? This is like your house too, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. And please, you shouldn't feel bad about asking me to excuse you for a date. Ah! Mm -hmm. Date care. <laughs> Don't you think you're taking it a bit too far? Uh, he's just a friend. Yeah, right. I know. Oh, that must be him. Oh my goodness, I look terrible. Let me go change. Don't go and change. Don't worry. Yes. Make sure you look good, yeah. <laughs> Who is here to see Nara? Friend, I'll sit down, Joe. Mm. Just admit it, you like. Okay, so first of all, mm -hmm. I'm not admitting to anything. Mm -hmm. And then second of all, keep your voice down before she comes here and finds out what's happening. Mm. Okay. But when the wedding bell starts ringing, 
I will be here to tell you. I told you so. Wedding bells. Yes. <laughs> it's like there's something wrong with your head. <laughs> oh, hey, Hi. Eric. Eric, this is Uchu. Uchu, this is Eric, the guy I told you about. Oh. Hi, Mr. Eric. Hi. How are you? Same. <laughs> the guy you told her about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I'll just keep you two love beds to enjoy. Uchu. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, bye. Bye. Uh, I got you this. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so uh, you're ready to show me your Chinese culinary skills? <laughs> yes. Okay. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Mm. Now, uh, this. This is so good. You know what? <laughs> if you open a Chinese restaurant, mm -hmm. I'll be your most loyal customer. <laughs> No cap. I'm telling you, even if the plate is one million now, uh, I'll buy it. <laughs> mm. Oh, you like? I, are you kidding? <laughs> I, I love. This This is so good. Mm. If I was just for me, fresh boy for you, I'll be licking my plate. Ah, mm. You don't need to form fresh boy around me. Go ahead and lick it. Mm. Lick it, you can clear the plate. You don't need to form. Nice try. <laughs> well, my mother taught me better. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to disgrace her. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. <laughs> oh no! Ah. Ah. Let me help you. Ah, thank you. I'll get it. I'm such a mess. Mm -hmm. Let me just get that. Mm -hmm. ah. Um, you cleared your place, so I'll start with yours first. Right, sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Whenever something interesting is happening in your life, you just have to be able to write. What's that? You see, you don't even know what right means. But if you so quote Galatians 7 verse 21, um, you will get it right. Mm. But Galatians actually stops at chapter 6. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> but you get the idea, right? Boring. Ah, babes, let me tell you, guys don't really like churchy girls, so hmm. you know. <laughs> oh, on a Sunday morning. Hmm. Now, wow. Are these people allergic to their houses or what? <sighs> Hello. Baby, you're here. Yes, I am. And I'm ready when you are. Okay, just give me two minutes. Let me grab my Bible. Please take your time. Okay. Okay. Uh, what? You and George. Since when? Since Nanya. Yeah. None of your business. Yeah. Of course I go to church. What's wrong with you? Hmm. 
on Christmas and Easter. And that's only when your folks are around. Yeah. So tell me, what magic did she be from? Okay, you have to stop this. Okay, would you just stop it? Okay, she asked me to go with her to church and I said yes. What's, what's wrong with that? Mm. I'm a nice guy. Of course I'd say yes. Oh. I don't have homes, do I? Exactly. I do not look like a devil. So better stop this act before she comes out and finds out about us. Mm. Yes. Chai! My guy don't fall. Stop it. Okay. I'm ready. Right. Oh, that's nice. Um, make sure you guys pray for me. Or better yet, you come to church and pray for yourself. Exactly. Oh. Pray for yourself. <laughs> exactly. Bye. Bye. Ah, <laughs> oh. Eric. Hey, church. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was good. Mm. I, I I really enjoyed it. I'm glad you liked it. I, I I I thought it was it was different, you know. I haven't been to to church in a bit, but this one was was special. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I want to do it again. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that makes me so happy. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so does this mean I can extend another invite to you to church? Ah, uh, yeah, of Next course. Sunday? Yes. I think I wanna I wanna do it again. Oh my god, <laughs> that makes me so happy. Yeah. So what was your favorite part of our service today? Ah uh, I think the praise and worship. I thought it was I thought it was rich. It was, it was good. It kinda redacted. Yeah. It kinda reminded me of my days in Secondary School. In secondary <laughs> school, yeah. <laughs> part the dancers, right? Yeah, yeah, I thought that was good.
Mm, egg, please. It's just dishes. It can wait. Mm. Mm. Egg, no, please stop. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm sorry. I just got carried away. It's something I've always wanted to do from the first day I set my eyes on you. It's complicated. What do you mean? I'm just not ready for this and I don't, I don't want to. How do you mean? I'm in the middle of a divorce. So, technically, I'm still married, and that means this is all shades of wrong. Okay. It's okay. I get that, but don't beat yourself up about it, okay? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a terrible marriage anyways, so you did the right thing walking away. <laughs> I know. It's just I'm not ready, and wait... Who told you it was a terrible marriage? Um, <laughs> I guess I just um, I I just figured it out, you know. Um, you told me you were getting a divorce, right? And you're here in your friend's house. You know, usually it's the guy who leaves the house for the girl, right? But that's not the case for you, so I just. Mm. Put one and two together. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Not in this part, so <laughs> here is the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, my point still stands. I'm just not ready for this, and I don't want to lead you on and um, waste your time. Listen, I'm a patient man. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll wait for you. For as long as you want. Ah, uh, my, I, I may never be ready. That's your head speaking. But your heart feels different. I know what I feel here. And I know you feel it too. <laughs> okay, so... I'm willing to wait for you. And then, we just watched a movie instead. Just that? Mm-hmm. You guys didn't do anything else? Ah, uh, what else? Oh, God. You just did the opposite of what I would have done if Ooh. I were in your shoes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Maybe you just did this, just that. Nothing else. Oh. Babes. Hey, oh, for you. <laughs> Jew, be cool. This your idea of shipping us will not work. But why? You guys look good together. <sighs> so does sausage and fried rice, but it's not happening. Anyway, I think the best idea is just to remain as friends and not take things too serious. Um, babes? What? I think Auntie Flo has come to visit. What? Mm -hmm. Uju? Yes. That's not possible. I just had my period last week. Uh, babes, just calm down, Joe. Uh, maybe you took um, a nominal drugs that changed. No, I didn't. Uju? What if I'm reaching my. What if I'm reaching menopause? Uh uh, how is that even possible? Uh, At your age? Nah. Calm down. You know you've been stressing yourself lately. Maybe it's just your hormones raging or something. Oh my god. Yes. Just go in there and clean up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Come on. Doctor, what's the problem? Have I, have 
I reached menopause? Mrs. Isiche. No, just Nara, please. Well, sorry, Nara, you haven't reached menopause. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, doctor. Are my eggs okay? Excuse me? I know I haven't reached menopause, but I've been having a hard time trying to conceive. And I was wondering if my eggs were okay, or if I'm even still producing eggs. Well, from the tests we ran, your eggs are very good. So you shouldn't have problems conceiving all things being equal. Really? Yes, um, from the results I have here, everything is in place. Your ovaries, your fallopian tubes, and your body is producing very good levels of AMH, anti-mullerian hormone. Doctor, what, what does that mean? It means you shouldn't have problems getting pregnant because your body is ready to accept healthy sperm for reproduction. struggling to come to terms with this. If everything is okay with me, then why wasn't I able to conceive with Donald? To why am I barren? I reject barrenness for you. Didn't the doctor say if you came in contact with healthy sperm? The key word being healthy sperm. What are you talking about? Nara, what if the problem was Donald all along? There's nothing wrong with Donald. How would you know? Because I know, Ju. And besides, he already has two kids with his so-called mistress. That is if the children are really his or... What? What are you talking about? Nothing, no. Not with my mouth then go here saying nyash. Uju. This girl has got the call. What do you mean? They really helped. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I need to leave now, so I'll see you soon, right? Okay. Wow. <laughs> Bye. You couldn't wait for the ink to dry on the divorce papers, could you? Donald, can you please just let me be? Oh, I'm not disturbing you. Am I holding you? I'm just wondering how you can just switch into the arms of another man so quickly. What are you talking about? Oh, please, come off it. You are inside there chatting, texting and uh -huh. laughing and giggling. Of course you are talking to a man. And you call yourself Christian mother. What does that make you, huh? A flirt? Or what? Okay, so isn't that what you wanted? Hmm? For me to leave the house so you can have your freedom and marry your mistress. <laughs> you know what? Coming from someone who told me his personal life was none of my business, this is pretty rich of you. Just wondering so quickly, you moved to another man. But I'm sure he's your friend, would you? That's teaching you this Ashe will be you because that's what she is. This is an Ashe. Hey, 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 Look at Pot calling Ketu Black. Who was the one who brought in a woman into their matrimonial home? You! Who was the one who claimed to have had two kids outside with another woman that is not his wife? No. You again! Come on, hold the legend and finish up, please. What's your problem? Are you dare calling me a shower? Don't you ever call me a shower again? Oh, my bad. Um, oh, I forgot. I'm so sorry. My mistake. Um, oh, I actually forgot. Um, he brought in the woman, right? Um, but as for the real father of the kids, oh, it's between that woman and God. Please stop now, please. What, what does that mean? What are you saying? 
You have a doctor, don't you? Go and ask your doctor. Please, that's enough. Please. What? It is up to know the truth now. What? What truth? What is this? No, you want to know. I'm talking about how you spent years berating my friend and then making her seem like she was the problem. You and your family call that barren. Have you forgotten? Why you were the one that's shooting blanks up and down? Please, that's enough. Oh, please, please, let's go. Please, let's go. You think let's that you're the only one that knows how to come. talk? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. ask your woman and tell her. Let's go. No, no. Go ask your woman where she got you. That's enough. Come. Is it done now? These things take time and um, once the judge signs then it's done. Uh -huh. Yay! Hey, you Mrs. ECJ loading. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing, I'm just tired. Tired, K. Uh -uh. We should be celebrating. Anyway, were you able to talk to the lawyer about the other stuff? About what? The will. Now that the divorce is out of the way, the next thing should be the adjustment of the will. You really do have a thing for bad timing. I don't understand. All I'm just saying is... Would you please shut your mouth? I'm tired of all this you're meddling. What is it? All what you've been saying is I do not understand. Can you please speak in plain English? What are you saying? From the test results here, it simply says you have a medical condition called isospermia. Iso what? Yeah, isospermia. What does that mean? This simply means you do not have any viable sperm in your semen and that makes it almost impossible for you to impregnate any woman. And this can be caused by numerous things like infections, inflammations, you know, development of a cyst, and then, you know, when you have surgeries below your pelvic area, things like that. Children that you forced on me? What? Useless woman. Children that you forced on me. I'm taking them back to their father, to the real father. What are you talking about, Donald? Are you mad? How dare you? How dare me? How dare you? How dare you lie to me? Huh? Look at this. Look at it. I went to the doctor's today. And that's the result. You know very well that those children are not mine. No. It so happens that I have a medical condition and I can't father children. How dare you do this to me? No, 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 we can't trust this. I mean, look now, this is a fake result. How, how can they say that about the you? The only thing not to be trusted is you, Jezebel, daughter of Satan. I'm so happy that those children are not here to see your shame. No, please, can you just hold on a second? Let me just think for a minute. What are you thinking about? How you deceived me for five years? Huh? Don't know how that can explain. 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 I left a good, a good woman. I divorced her for you. For you! Don't know you divorced a woman who could not give you children. Children. Well, You're lucky I don't hit me. And I would have. You pick your teeth from the floor, I swear. 
I want you out of this house and get those children from school. Take them to your house or wherever it is you want to take them to. Get out of my house! Don't know, please. Just don't know. Let me explain. What is going on? Donald. What? It's just funny. Okay, I don't remember cracking any joke, so better tell me what's funny. Mm -hmm. I wasn't for me, that guy. Mm -hmm. And my reasons were valid, right? Yes, because they were. Uh -huh. You know what is so satisfying seeing how she proved you wrong? Yeah. I know, right? Now? Now not a day goes by without me wanting to see her. Or without me thinking about it. Oh, Shay! <laughs> my friend is in love! Yay! Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so tell me, now that you've caught the love bird, what are you going to do about it? <sighs> well, I, I don't know. But I think I want to take things to the next level. <laughs> go and make it go official. Every, Calm go. down. <laughs> Keep your voice down. This is schema. This is what you like, Abby. Of course. Yeah. My best friend and my G are yeah. getting married, oh. and I can't wait to be the of house. Yes. Okay, so we haven't even made things official yet, and you're planning for our kids already. Uh, ever? <laughs> I can't wait to get finally.
come out a couple of times, but you've never brought me to a place this serene. I've only been here twice in my entire life, and both occasions were special. Really? Mm -hmm. Which ones? Well, the first time was when my brother was going to propose to his then fiance, mm. now wife. <laughs> and. And. And the second time was. Is. When I'm about to ask the most beautiful girl in the world to spend the rest of her life with me. Oh. Nara, love used to be just a word to me until you came along and, and gave it meaning. I think I fell in love with you the first moment I set my eyes on you. But I, I didn't realize what hit me until I found out how, how happy you made me. Tara, you, you make me so happy. No one else in the entire world makes me feel the way you do. I, I wish I could just stop the hands of the clock and met you sooner and love you much longer because every moment I spend with you it feels like it feels like time stops and everything just just freezes and and I want to capture the moment and and save it forever so at the risk of, of sounding crazy. <laughs> this is me officially saying that. Nara, I, I want us to take this to the next level. Yes, I've, I've seen the picture of my future and you're in it. Oh my God. Eric. This is so sweet. <laughs> Sounds like a cheesy movie. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm confused. Hey, we've known each other for months now, right? So surely we, we know how we feel about each other. Yes, but I just... It's Do you love me? Less was a person, that's who I'll be right now. Who's <laughs> calling? Hello? Nah, nah, please come. I need you now more than anything. What ever. happened? Be, are you okay? Please just come. Please. Okay, I'm coming. Who was that? Um. Uh, Eric, I'm so sorry. I need to go right now. It's urgent. Let me drop you. No, no, no. That's fine. I'll just call a cab. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll see you later. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm so sorry. Jesus! <clears throat> Don't out! Donald! Donald, what's going on here? Oh my god, Donald! Ah, oh, Jesus. Thank God. Nah. You're still alive, Jesus. Thank God. Oh my god. Donald. Nah. Nah. Donald, what on earth is going on here? Where's Matilda? What, what are you doing? Matilda. That bitch. Go <laughs> Goodness, so you reek of alcohol. It's going to burn in hell. Okay? Oh, God. Do you understand me? Hmm? Mm. You came. 
I did. Thank you. You're welcome. Donald, enough about Mat Matilda. Matilda? Enough about Matilda, please. Stand up. Stand up, please. Let's get you to your no. home. No, I'm okay. Okay? Okay. No, Matilda. Please, enough about Matilda. Let's get you cleaned up and to your room. Please, stand up. I'm, I'm going to get up. Okay. Oh. oh my God! Okay, don't please. Mm -hmm. I can, I'm, I'm okay. You're my wife. God, easy. Let's get you to your room this way. This way. Definitely a hangover from drowning yourself in all that alcohol. Here, have something to eat so that you can take your meds. Now, I want to apologize, you know, for all that I've done to you. Thinking back now, I really feel like a bastard for all the things that I did to you. It's fine. All is forgiven. I just wish there's something I can do, you know, to just... Donald, it's fine. Really. All is forgiven. I've... I've moved on from everything. Now just eat your food so you can take your meds. But I'm not a kid. I don't know what's to be the tone. I know you're not a child. Just eat and drink plenty of water so you can feel better. Let me go grab something from the kitchen. Kelly. What Hi. happened? What's with this smile on your face? Oh, this this is a smile you wear when you know your friend has had an amazing night. So just me, tell me what happened. How did it go? <laughs> amazing isn't what I'd use to describe it though. Uh, what happened? Did Eric do or say something to upset you? Eric. Yes now. Um didn't you spend a night with him? Oh come on, Uju. What on earth do you take me for? I was at Donald's, not Eric's. What? Donald called me when we were having drinks. He sounded distressed and turns out he was drunk and unable to do anything. And you left your date to go meet him. Is something wrong with you? He needed me. I had to go help him. Oh, and you left the current man in your life to heed the call of someone who abandoned you, right? My goodness, Nara, are you ever going to free yourself from these shackles? I get what you're saying, Ju, but you need to understand that even though Donald and I are separated, technically we're still married until, until the divorce. And Eric? What about him? Is he supposed to be okay with everything? With you having to run off to you, Donald, anytime he snaps his finger? Okay, first of all, this is the one time I'm running to Donald. And I'm not just going to be running to him every time he snaps his fingers. And as for Eric, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Meaning? Meaning, I think I rushed him to that too early. I didn't give myself enough time to heal. <sighs> Babes. How are you going to heal when you keep running back to the same man who caught you in the first place? Uchu, whatever the situation is with Donald and I, it's mine to worry about and deal with, okay? <sighs> okay. So, what are you going to do to begin your healing process? Pray. 
can I do? Oh, I can only pray. Oh. Hey, do not my guy. <laughs> my main man. What's up? Bro, did you get the email about the meeting? Yes, they have successfully moved it to next week. So, it's time for TJF. <laughs> Dude, whatever, man. Oh, look, my guy. I'm sorry about your Matilda. Yeah. Yeah, I know I didn't like her from onset, but what that girl did was evil. Damn. Yeah, clearly. I mean, she's made me realize how much of a fool I've been. Oh. I mean, you did tell me, mm. right? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Well, now the skills are falling off my eyes. I think I know exactly what I need to do. Oh, meaning. I'm going to win that back. I can't believe you're doing this. It's not for you to believe, would you? So you're going out for dinner with Donald. Do I have to make a PowerPoint presentation for you to see the things he did to you? I'm very well aware of all the things he did. Then why are you doing this? I just want to listen to what he has to say. You're walking into fire. And the Lord Jesus will provide the water for me to douse that fire. This guy does not love you. I hope the Lord help you see this too. Seriously, he's just looking for someone to, to use. God, would you please stop? I'm just going to have dinner with my husband. Ex-husband. The divorce is not final yet. The judge hasn't signed the papers. Come on, babe. What's the matter with you? You, 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 you sound as if you don't even want it finalized. After the trouble I have been through to get Eric to chase you, and this is all I get. What? Eric? You got Eric to chase me? Would you, would you, what on earth are you talking about? Would you, you knew Eric before? God, would you? You've got to be kidding me. Why do you take me for a joke? Would you, I look like a joke to you. Oh my God, would you? Oh God, you've got to be kidding me. Sophie, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, please, I can explain. Nara. Nara, I'm sorry. Nara, please wait. Nara. Nara. Oh. Oh. What happened? What was that about? She discovered the whole thing. What? How? What are you talking about? It was a slip of tongue. I, I mistakenly told her that I, I set up the old thing. Come on. Would you really? How would you make such a mis... I know. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I, I feel so bad. I, I, I just didn't like the fact that she was going to have dinner with her husband. So I didn't know when I blotted out that I set up the old thing. Just because I want her to forget her husband. Wait, she, she's going to have dinner with her husband. Shoot me. So, I'm glad you decided to come for dinner. Me too. So, how is Matilda? That's not why we're here. Let's not talk about that. Tonight is about you and I and our future. Our future? <laughs> if memory serves me well, um, didn't you just mortgage that? Stop. Look, how many times do you want me to apologize to you? Eh? Even your Bible says um, if a man sins, you forgive him. No matter how many times. So let bygones be bygones, okay? Let's just look for how we will move forward from here. That's it. How exactly are we going to do that? We've almost finalized with the divorce and it's only a matter of time before... I know, okay? And I've called the lawyers and they've assured me that we can, you know, halt things for now. So we're in the clear. 
you've called the lawyers. Of course. Now, I regret what I did to you. It was wrong. I'll probably spend the rest of my life trying to make it up to you. Now, I remember the first time I looked into your eyes. It was like my entire world flipped. Nara. I learned about love because of you. I want you back. I want you with all your flaws, your mistakes, inadequacies, everything. I want you all back. You're my peace. You're the only place I go stop, to. Stop, Donald. Please, stop. Several lyrics too late. Do you know how long I've wanted to hear you say these words? I begged. I groveled. Yet you never cared. I loved you with every fiber of my being. Every fiber of my soul. But all you ever did was find a hundred and one ways to make my life miserable. You killed my self-esteem. I put my heart, my soul, and my everything into making this marriage work. You destroyed me. You put a permanent scar in my heart. No. I'm not doing this anymore. That ship has sailed. So why did you then come here? To gloat? Contrary to what you think, no, I didn't. I came here because you invited me over and and a part of me wanted to see if I still had feelings for you. Unfortunately, you've killed it all. <laughs> so, you don't love me anymore, right? That means you've been seeing someone even while you were under my roof. God. That's what this means. <laughs> Oh my god, that sort of behavior is right up your alley, don't you think? God. So you're going? What are you doing here? Hey, uh, I was waiting for you. Eric, I am tired and I've already had enough emotional trauma to last me a lifetime. Please go home. Yeah, but I won't leave until you tell me that you forgive me. Nara, I am sorry. Eric, there's nothing to forgive. Okay, I just want to be left alone. I feel like nothing but a pawn in everyone's game of chess. No, you're not. Ujun didn't mean to hurt you, <gasps> neither did I. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. <clears throat> okay, we, we may have started out fraudulently, but... But it got real. Okay, I am as real as they come, Nara. Say you forgive me. Please. I forgive you, but I want to be honest with you and tell you that I am not in the mental space to be in a relationship right now. I just got out of a bad marriage. Please, just give me some space to exhale. Please. I get it. Okay, sweetness, I get it. Okay, and, and I'm not trying to rush you. Okay, Nara. I'll be here as long as you want me to. Until you're ready, I'll wait for you. Listen. Nara, the truth is I can't promise you forever. Heck, I can't even promise you tomorrow. Only God can do that. What I can promise you is that I'll always be here for you. Always. 
All I want you to do is to give me a chance to, to wipe away your tears and love away your pain and the hurt and every heartbreak you've ever experienced. Listen. Meeting you was by chance. Okay, but being your friend, that, that was a choice I had to make. And then, then falling in love with you, that, that was way beyond my control. But I'll let you take the lead on this one now. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Just promise me that you stop crying. Everything will be fine, okay? Everything will be fine. I promise you, everything will be fine. For your sweet loving, a thousand kisses is never enough. I hope you remember first time we kissed. Our hearts were beating just fast together. Hold me close, closer. Do you? Baby, just 